Yes, fish. Oh my god. Oh, he's, oh, he's been, been attacked. He's been chewed up. Oh my god. Oh my god, dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler today, going fishing. Somewhere around here is my man, uh, 804 Fish Ninja Lures. He's around here somewhere. Apparently, he wants to weigh a crappie. Because uh, right before I got here, he caught one. Let's see. That is a gigantic crappie, guys. That is gigantic. But it's a normal eaten size. That's normal. That's not normal. That's... Let me get a closer up. That's not a normal one. <laughs> That's not a normal size crappie. Heck yeah, let me get the scale. It's over a pound, but what? 105? Oh yeah. Wow. That'll be more than that, but that is a uh, slob crappie. Are you keeping them? Oh yeah. Yeah? That one's going home. That one is definitely good eating. I'm eating that one. That's a one person meal right there. Yeah, it is. Well, that was pretty big, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, some good action before I even got here. He's been here for a little while before I got here. But that's a good sign. I need to tie something on. I need to get it out there, so let's go. All right, guys, so looking at the water, there's tons of leaves, so Pretty much anything top water is gonna suck. Um, crankbaits probably also suck. Anything with exposed hooks, exposed treble hooks especially will suck. So I'm probably going with the soft plastic, uh, maybe something weedless. And I think what I do is a weedless wacky rig. And what I'm gonna use are these impulse supercharged reactionary baits, supercharged. 143% more effective. We'll, we'll see about that. We will see. Oh man, the colors look good, man. It's like half green half orange they got red uh silver and orange flakes on it inside of it looks really good like a nice natural color so let's get a wacky rig set up get my o-rings there's our wacky rig with a weedless hook so hopefully that'll help with the leaves heck yeah let's get it out there Is that a shell cracker? Kinda looks like it. It's a pretty good one. Look at that. Oh, what happened to his gill? You rip it out? Oh, he's, he's been, been attacked. He's been chewed up. Let me get a close up of that. Look at that tail right there. And then turn him around. He got a chunk like missing out of his gill right there. Oh dang. He's been chewed up. Big ass gill again. Well at least he's still eating. So far, not so good for me, turning into a little bit of a grind. We'll get one, or two, or four. Hopefully many. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna downsize to like a Ned rig, so I'm gonna cut this thing. Make sure. And attach that to a Ned rig and see how that does. All right, let's try that. Yes, fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Small bass. Literally first cast with the Ned rig, man. Small bass, but still. Woo wee boy. There we go, got it out of him. Oh, you have no idea how happy you make me, fella. Been out here close to 30 minutes with the wacky rig. I didn't catch anything. Switch to the Ned rig. Boom, fish. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. Wow, so yeah, uh, I was out here for quite a while trying that, that uh, wacky rig and uh, got nothing on it. Literal first cast with switching it to a Ned rig. Boom, first, first fish. So uh, wow, sometimes uh, I guess it's about the presentation, not necessarily about the bait. So yeah, let's uh, get back to it. Fish, fish on! Oh, pickerel! Not a big one, but a pickerel. 
chill. Here we go. Pick roll. Heck yeah. Oh, he bleeding a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. I'm using a tree as a napkin. Isn't that kind of the case though? Aren't napkins made of trees anyways? Hmm. So pretty much as usual, guys, my retrieve for Ned Riggs, very simple. Let it sink to the bottom. Couple simple tugs. Tug, tug, tug. Let it sit. Reel in the slack. Tug, tug, tug. Let it sit. Pretty much every time I fish with a Ned Rig, that's exactly what I do, and it works. Oh man, come on. Oh. Oh no. Ah, yeah, snapped. Ah well. That's what happens with Ned Rigs, man. They get so. They are so snaggy. I lose so many of them. Probably the most snagged lure of my fishing career is a Ned Rig, but that's the price you pay because it works a lot. So, yeah, risk reward, you know? Heck yeah. PB stick right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, dudes. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> Look at this. My other Ned Rig right there. This is the same stick. I got my, <laughs> I snagged my last one on. Oh, uh, are you kidding me? I gotta, I gotta show Fish Ninja this, hang on. I caught the stick that snagged off my last Ned Rig. So that's the one I was using this now, and that's uh, the last one. It's obviously the exact same Ned Rig. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. weakened it last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fish, yes. Heck yeah. It's a better bass. Not too much better, but better. It's a chunkier bass. I don't see how wide it was. Yeah, it's got a belly on it, man. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a chunky belly. Yeah, you are chubby. All right, y'all, I just caught this 10 inch chunky little bass right here. Nothing to write home about, but he's the biggest of the day for me, so time to let him go. Took a little video for TikTok. By the way, I started a TikTok, so if you have a TikTok, feel free to follow me. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Damn. Something hit it basically as soon as it hit the water. Oh, fish. Oh. Duh. I had something else attack it. Yeah, let it go. Uh huh. I knew it. I knew I'd get snagged over here. Every time I use a Ned Rig over here, I get snagged. Every goddamn time. Every time. Every time. All right, well, oh well. Oh, I got it back. <laughs> Probably all bent out, yep. And this is like the second or third time it's gotten really bent out, so I should probably retire it and move on. But you know what, that might wrap it up for me today, so it's getting a little too dark. So uh, yeah, let's wrap this up. All right, so what's the lesson of the day? Sometimes it's not about the bait that you use, but how you present it. I used the Wacky Rig Impulse uh, stick bait right here for probably 30 minutes and got nothing. And as soon as I switched it to a Ned Rig, boom, I got my first bass on the first cast. And then like six or seven casts later, I got that pickerel. And then later, I got the bigger bass. So it's getting a lot darker here, so we're probably gonna wrap it up soon. Uh, props to my man right here, Fish uh, 804 Fish Ninja Lures. If you guys wouldn't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. As usual, guys, thank you for joining me. Peace out.